Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So if you've stayed with me throughout our poster series, we have been getting the basic elements together. We've put on the background, we've changed the sky, we've changed the colors of both elements, we've added the city. Uh, but now we want to start getting really detailed with that. And what I'm, when I mean detailed, I mean we want to start adding destructive elements to it. We want to make it look old, destroyed, it's been through war, etc. Now something I realized is that it's not going to be a very good idea for me to add these destructive elements to such a low resolution picture. Uh, it would be kind of a waste of time. So we're going to go back to the original image and start adding elements there. Now the best way to do that is one click and there you go. I've destroyed some of the city. Okay, it doesn't work that way. But what I am going to do is I'm going to show you the different types of techniques to create destructive elements in your city. And it's relatively easy, but it is time consuming. So I'm only going to show you the basics of each technique per building. And then once you get the idea, I'm just going to do the rest myself. So before you do anything, you want to find elements of destroyed buildings. Um, things like this you can't just make, and they're certainly not anywhere in the original picture. So what we want to do to find it is we want to go on Google and we want to put in keyword searches such as destroyed, destroyed building, war, bombed out, bombed. Also you can put in different cities that have been through war, Grozny, Iraq, things like that. You can find a lot of pictures of destroyed buildings with that. The real trick is finding the right type of building elements that can be incorporated properly into your poster. So for example, uh, the destruction right here, I used this image. And it's kind of hard to believe that I took this image and then incorporated it to there, but I did and it worked. And I'm going to show you exactly how that was done. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a uh, building I haven't touched yet, like this one right here, this white one, which is behind this tower. And I'm going to start destroying it. Something you might or might not want to do is create a separate layer or mask for your image. The reason why you do this is that either the mask or the extra layer is going to make it so whatever changes you make, you still have the original element in the background that you can come back to. And that can be important in case you decide you want to do something else. But if you decide to mask and layer every image, it's going to be a pain in the butt. So just so you know, that is a, almost as time consuming as actually destroying the buildings themselves. So let's say you wanted to create a new layer. We're going to use the lasso tool to do this. Click on the polygono lasso tool. And click around our building. Go ahead and go through this building, it's fine. And click, click. Keep clicking till you get around it. And it's fine if you want to incorporate this build the tower as well. There we go. Now right click, say layer via copy. Oops, I just realized my city is not selected in my layers panel. So click that. Notice I have a lot of unorganized layers. We're gonna have a video dedicated to organizing everything in your layer palette. So now with our layer selected, right click, select layer via copy. Now click the move tool and as you can see, we have a separate layer that we can mess with. Now let's go ahead and turn that off so we can just see that and we can just work with this element right here and start playing with it. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the eraser tool to start getting rid of pieces of the building. I'm also going to show you how to use the clone stamp tool to get rid of pieces of a building and still maintain your original background.